Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4, and uh, you're gonna notice that a few years has passed, probably about four or five years. <sighs> I recorded a whole episode, realized I didn't have my microphone on, so uh, I am not gonna show any of the footage, but what I will show you is what happened. Basically, we had attacked Brandenburg at the very end of the last episode, which you would have seen. Um, by the way, Pomerania is the one who formed Prussia. And we will be invading Brandenburg. We will be taking this land all here to give to Prussia. And uh, we are also at war with France now because we are going to start working on annexing France. And we're going to be eating them up, gobbling up nice and big. And it's going to be super friendly or friendly. It's going to be super uh, exciting because we're basically just going to smash them. So right about now we're giving him... Uh, Danzig and then right here and then now we're right here and we're at war and uh, France is decently in debt he's debting up some more right now actually which is really good I don't know where his army is Russian peasants huh let's go ahead and take care of them for him um, and then let's see here I also have too many generals so I should probably get rid of that guy probably should get rid of another one let's go ahead and get rid of that guy there we go. Um, so Munster and Castile, there's a couple of people where I'm like, man, I should probably piece them out because uh, I don't feel like them being in the war. I don't know where his army's at. So he does have an army. And as we finish up destroying his mainland, he's going to have no chance then but to just let his economy die, um, which it will. So let's take a look over here. He's got 73 ducats. There you go, that's another loan for him. And we're just gonna make it count. Speed five it for a few months. Lost the... Oh, right, down here. So Munster wants out, do I care about them? So basically this is the truce, the peace deal that I came up with. It has a lot of aggressive expansion and I don't care before anybody says I will do nothing with my diplomats if they want to join they can join and I will stomp them and I will kill them all and it will be easy above all um, so yes we're, we're in a good spot to the point where I don't feel compelled to worry about what's going on here so his monthly is minus 60, 70, give or take. So let's go ahead and see if we can get get him to bankrupt. Border friction against my vassal. Unfortunately. Let's see where he's at now. Taking out another loan. So I think uh, he's not going to take this peace deal anyway, so there's nothing I can really do about that. We just need to wait on it. It's all of Cast Castile is like our main problem down here. Um, I suppose these guys are black flag. We might as well actually just march them down. So long as we have people can join the coalition. Look at this coalition. Juicy. I love it. I hope it fires and I kill them all. Kill them all, no questions asked. So let's see here if if he can uh, siege some land for me. I wonder if walking into my allies' land will get me the stuff, get me uh, unblack flagged. We'll see. I'm actually not sure. Nope, unfortunate. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely a bummer. I want Castile to peace out, though. If Castile pieces out, it's an easy piece. Let's get you guys up here. No point in having you down there. You can have some rebels, that's fine. Let's actually get my guys all grouped up so we're not getting killed by rebels. He's probably going to go bankrupt here. He'll definitely go bankrupt when we peace out. That's no doubt. Yeah, 
might, get, might have to wait about another year before we can piece him out. This war's only been going on for three years, so it's it's uh we're good. It's only it's totally fine. Um People have been urging us to go bankrupt. I'm kinda thinking about it honestly. It seems like it'd be pretty fun. Or not bankrupt. <laughs> not bankrupt. Re um revolutionary. It's here. The Age of Revolutions is here. We totally could do it. We're strong enough that I don't think anything would happen to us. I don't know. I'm actually not sure if we can completely go revolutionary as Byzantium. Let's uh, see if we can save this till next year and then we'll take it if we can. Let's see here. I just want Castile to piece out. That's the big one. Once he pieces out, it's honestly going to be super easy. There we go. And there we go. And we will take... Actually, I would rather take all of his money and all of his war reps and completely destroy him so he'll, he'll collapse and then I'll be able to gobble up the land from the rest of people. So this is more ideal. Let's do that. Oops. Oh, dang it. I forgot to take that back. Well, Moldavia. Sorry, buddy. I am going to seize that land from you. <laughs> Whoopsies. Isn't that the dumbest thing you've ever heard? Uh, he's going to be super disloyal because I accidentally gave him land in a peace deal. 65%, by the way. Let's go ahead and pay off his debt. And then... Uh, let's go ahead and placate, 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 and then we can do some deving since we're super far ahead on admin. So let's go ahead and dev a couple of clicks up where it's nice and cheap. Now he should be good. Poland is now disloyal because he's for some reason. So let's go ahead and just placate Poland. Oh, I'll pay off his debt. That's totally fine. There we go. Prussia's doing fine. Are we subsidizing them? We are. Subsidizing Poland? We are not. Well, I intended on doing that, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and give subsidies to Poland. There we go. Let us um, core up everything we need to. And then let's convert everything we possibly can for everybody. There we go. Let's have you guys suppressing rebels, which may or may not fire. It's hard to say. Let's, uh... These guys all grouped up down here in Provence. go this is beautiful and russia annex lithuania there you go we'll get some claims on them just to make coring a little bit cheaper later on so i'm kind of wanting to wait on convert culture converting anything else until we get the renaissance but or not renaissance revolution but may not need to Yeah, I don't think so, France. All right, look at this. Oh, baby. Beautiful. All right, he's bankrupt. He has no loans, which is good for him. Let's see here. So Munster is his only ally now. He's at war with Kilwa. Kilwa attached, attacked them for a nationalist war, apparently. Oh, right here. Yeah, they'll get that back. Attacker controls Ibuina. Yeah, that'll be no problem for them. Um, I'm definitely not going to fight that. For some reason, I have rebels of my own faith. Makes sense, right? Let's do some harsh treatment. Do we need to? Nah, we're totally good. Okay. 
Very good. Done corn everything up. Or wait, no we're not. Wait, was that all culture conversion? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. So beautiful. And that also frees up a bunch more. Eh, not, not really. Cool. Oh, let's go ahead and fabricate that claim. For some reason we were not able to. So let's go ahead and attack Savoy. He is in a lot of wars. Jeez, oh Pete. Okay, well, let's see what happens with this war here. Actually... Yeah, he's about to be full occupied by Alsace, so there's nothing I can do about that, really. Oh well. Let's go ahead and put this guy there, that there, that there. A couple level 8s for sure. And... We haven't punched Russia in the teeth in a while, so maybe it's in our best interest to punch Russia, right? Let's go ahead and, uh... Punch Russia. <laughs> Why not, you know? 65k for Prussia. 57, dude, look at this. Just 150 are me. That means almost 100, another 150 amongst my vassals. I think a single 50k stack is going to be more than enough. More culture conversions. So let's go see if there's any cheaper ones. There is not. Unfortunate. Are they building up more? <clears throat> yeah, Prussia's up to 73k. And they can afford it, baby wait on those cannons I honestly probably don't have to do anything because my out vassals are just so strong Gaskin let's go ahead and make sure these guys are suppressing no, let's come on over here I think we'll be able to uh, siege that down pretty easy okay he can come on over to this level 6 fort with 80% Eighty percent defensiveness, and he's nothing's gonna happen from it. So we're good. All right, let's come on over to Nya to make sure we got you guys here. Portugal has left the coalition because they're scared. Let's get you guys down, Nya. Bali, don't care about you. Let's uh, base tax is always good. Let's make sure we're converting everything we can. Looks like we forgot our icon. Um, let's go with institution for this one. Totally seems appropriate, and we will actually be able to embrace pretty soon, especially since it's starting to spread into these provinces over here. So, I reckon when the Tuscan state is done, we'll be able to um, really start embracing, or real, we'll be able to embrace it. Wait, do I see a? PU, something with a PU. Aragonese succession war. So Aragon just formed a PU under Castile, only it's Aragon and Castile are both African countries. Aragon is a landlocked African country. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Let's see here. I want to screenshot this one, just because that's awesome. <laughs> Put that one on the Reddit, you know? It's always good to have some good stuff to, to put the, put on the reddit. Alright. More mill points! Yay! So, let's see what's going on with Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. He's got 20 or 10 loans. And what is his... Let's see here. Where is he at? More enemies. His monthly about... Oh my gosh, wait, what? So he just took out a loan. Okay. I don't really understand what that was all about. So he's at like negative 300. But he's also probably just like barking up or whatever. So he's spending all of his money on people or on armies. So it's hard to say. Let's see if we can get him bankrupt as well. Just make sure everybody around me is weak, so there is no such thing as a strong country around me. Let's see here. Is he taking out another loan? 
Taking out three more loans, so I think that's probably sufficient. I'll take war reps and money. Um, I suppose I could probably take some land up here. Maybe give all that to Prussia, since he already has most of that as well. Um, it's the financial stuff is what I'm looking for mostly. There we go. Let's go ahead and ship all that land off to Prussia. How's his development? He's rivaling Poland there. No, definitely not, actually. Oh, I forgot to give him... I should probably... Oh, I did. I am giving him subsidies. What am I talking about? Okay, anyways. Let's give some land to Prussia. Grant him uh, this one. This one. This one. That one. Yeah, and just, yeah, and just all of these. There you go. That's the long Prussia coming in hot. And we're going to have to suppress a bunch of rebels up here because they're going to fire. 100. 100. They will fire. So let's get you guys grouped up. Let's we'll see if we can make Prussia or Russia go bankrupt. He's, he's pretty close. Mamluks have collapsed. They are an OPM. Revolutionary France. That's crazy. So does that mean I'm losing prestige? No. So de Treville. Am I gaining? Let me see here. I'm just curious as to what the effects are on me if I'm not. No, well, he's not the emperor anymore because he's a republic. So that's cool. Let's have you guys come on over here. I think we want to attack Alsace. Hmm, interesting. I suppose I should just attack Oldenburg directly. He would call in Ulm, Norway, Denmark. Man, like literally nobody I care about. That's a bummer. The Oldenburg is, would not defend, oh, Bohemia left the coalition. Oldenburg would join Prussia, or Russia would not. Let's see what's going on here. These guys are all looking real good. That is Hills, so it's a nice defensive fight for us. Let's wait one more year, and I think I'll be able to actually embrace by the time next year rolls around. See here. It's just our university. So eh, it'll be cutting it pretty close. There we go. Let's uh wait until next year just in case there's some more provinces that we can get it in. That'll save us an extra 20% give or take. 25 and some. Hmm, yeah, it's gonna be pretty close. I think it might actually be worth just spending a dev click over here to uh, get that. Here we go. That's nah, probably not worth it, actually. We're going to end up saving, like... Yeah, it's, it's like 100 ducats. So that's not worth, but... You live and you learn, you know? Let's go ahead and go to some more... Culture conversion. Oh, right, the separatism. I totally forgot about separatism. Let's get everything converted. Oh man, it's so cheap anymore with all, look at this, even the most expensive one is only 80. All right, so let's make sure we're getting good claims on them. The speed of succession in Portugal, well, they're never gonna like me. They're at war with Castillo for the Aragonese succession war. Oh, however, will it happen? Do I break my alliance? Eh, probably with Great Britain. They're gonna break their royal marriage with me, so that's fine. I'll send them an insult, make sure they hate me enough to break it. I don't know why they're not breaking the royal marriage with me. Huh. 
Bunch of people joining the coalition because I broke my alliance. Let's see if I can attack somebody before... I suppose I could just destroy Oldenburg and get him to the point where he wouldn't be willing to back up people. He's in a lot of debt and he's still willing to back him up pretty easily handedly, so... Huh. A lot of people have been saying like, oh, make sure you take all the river of the Rhine. Is this the Rhineland? Is this the Rhine River? I believe it is. Something like this, right? This is the Rhineland. Okay, I think that's it. I might be wrong. So that was a pretty easy war against Russia. <laughs> Didn't even try. Went in, stomped, left. Easy. Let's build up that fort line. A Podobrad in Bohemia? Unthinkable. Let's see here. Oldenburg won't help him, so I think it's worth just waiting on Brandenburg. Because we'll be able to attack him basically instantly, and we can use that to, uh... Ooh, very nice. Looks like we're starting to get furnaces. When is this over? September of this year. So we can wait till September. Let's go ahead and actually get a, uh... Get some guys over here. Is there any grasslands over here? He's OP! Napoleonic Warfare, or maybe artillery damage from the back row. We're not really struggling with loyalty. I can just buy it if I need to, because like this one would be nice, but I don't think I need it. I like the artillery bonus versus forts, and I like the artillery damage from the back row. I think forts is probably a more, more of a crucial thing for me, so we're going to go with that. Let's also can you and make sure we can get somebody who's got the correct culture. That way we can make sure it's put a effort into getting. Man, we're making a lot of money now. You guys are not even protecting trade in Genoa. If you can believe that crap. Come on now. Somebody the correct culture, dang it. We have all these Greek provinces and nobody wants to be forts. I don't want the forts, dang it. I'm out of money. Holy shnikes. I'm just waiting until September, so I'm fine. Manpower modifier, not something I'm worried about. How did my income go so low? Mostly subsidies, honestly. I guess the discipline is fine. Let's go ahead and attack them pretty much instantly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Have you guys go down there, have you guys go down there, and have you guys go down there. Let's make sure we got a uh, general on this guy there. Beautiful. Take a loan out, I don't care. Money is just the number at this point in the game. But I can spend some Diplo on getting that culture converted. That's going to be getting everything moving pretty good. Napoleon. <gasps> Napoleon d'Albert. go there we go rebels of course let's come on up here I'll send this stack up there to take care of those rebels for him so he's full occupied who else we got Denmark Dithmarschen and the Niederlande go ahead and send them over to the hog Get you guys over here. Starting to get our furnaces, so that's good. Revolutionary France has a disputed succession. Is that a thing? Wait, they're not... I'm so confused. What? 
Thunder Mark. Is that... Wow, that is weird. I think it just has something to do with the uh, revolutionary mechanics for France specifically, because I'm pretty sure they get a specific thing. I could just have them transfer trade power to me and collect. I mean, we're making a lot of money from only... Let's make sure these guys are the correct... Make sure he's... Uh, let's make him a level four, actually. We can afford it. Okay, some more rebels over here, I reckon. So... I think it'll be a more of the same. I will take this state and I will just give everything to Prussia. So I'll take this state and this state and then I'll just take all your money. And I'll just turn right around and give this all to Prussia because I don't want any of this land. Poland is huge. So I don't, Poland does not need more land. He's got almost 100K troops. You guys don't need any more. You're good. Pay off all my vassals though. Prussia, you can have all of this. Dresden, Wittenberg, Anhalt, uh, Magdeburg, and Anhalt, or Altmark. That's a nice looking Prussia. Let's get you guys somewhere where there's not just all woods. This is literally all woods. Literally all woods. Let's get you guys there. Those guys are gonna go take care of that. So, we're honestly just waiting on this truce with France, unfortunately. All right, well, might take some time, but it's all good. We're in no rush. We got plenty of time. So, I will call it there. Hope you guys are enjoying. I know I certainly am. If you're looking forward to more, show your support and leave a like. Subscribe if you have not already. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you're thinking about the campaign and other um, campaigns that you'd be interested in. Um, with the Spain, with this one wrapping up, we need another one to get on after this to go in conjunction with our Spanish campaign. So I want to know what you guys want. I'm thinking this is Persia, maybe the third way, something in this Middle East area. We haven't spayed pent any love with our friends over here in the Middle East, and we need to make sure we get there. Um, I don't want to, I want to stay out of Central Europe and West, like this this area, because 1.3 is going to bring so many changes to that. So let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see, and uh, I'll get back to you and what we're going to choose to do. So anyways, check out the Discord and the Patreon. Links are in the description. And with all that, this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yadaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.